motorcycling marauders. I'm on silent and we're on the air with more Tomb Raider Legend. It's episode number three of Tomb Raider Legend. Thanks for tuning in. Last time out, last time out. We had a little flashback with Lara. Well, I guess we preceded the... Oh, look at that. A little reward. I guess we didn't just do the... Uh, oh, I see one as well. Over there as well. Uh, I don't see anything over here. Just anything under. No, good. Now, we didn't just do the uh, the flashback. Well, that is why we're here. A little... Uh... Oh, enter key. I'll be okay. Uh, so... But, uh, yeah, we're, uh, we're on the search for Periso in Peru. We're looking for, uh, Amanda's corpse. Uh, oh, I do have a nice Amanda's corpse. May not be as dead as we thought from the flashback. We have to, uh, but this is another Tiwanaku ruin that was in the first episode. We met Anaya in the Periso marketplace last time. We escaped the ambush, got out of town, and we caught up with Anaya on our motorcycle. It was Ducati, was it not? Oh, and then we have our, uh, then we have our jeep up there. I can't remember if... I don't think jeep was part of, um... What's the group called now? Is it, It's like, it's Chrysler and Dodge Ram, uh, because Ram got spun off as its own imprint, basically. Uh, jeep. Who else is in there? That might be it. SRT got spun off as well? Uh, it's all under the same ownership group, so it's, it's, it's kind of its own company, but kind of isn't. It's them, it's Fiat, which would include Alpha, and I guess Ducati as well. All They're all under the same, but I don't think they were back then, but... Nice reflections. But isn't there water down there? Now, F. Click the F to dive. Swimming controls are much better in the PS1 Tomb Raider. Says someone who just played the PS1 Tomb Raider, which... I think we go up here. Into the... Oh. Okay. I was thinking, man, we're not going to make it. But, yeah. No, we made it. And we can't look up any more than this. Sorry. I assume that means we go back down. We got to... Now, our... Yeah, now that they're... Oh, we gotta go down. So this is what the... Push E in time with thing has to do with. And we gotta go up, and we gotta try and hit the surface. Whoa, just! Man, we're timing this out just! Right? A long swimming section. Let's hope I'm I'm kind of facing the right direction. Oh, that's it. I'm holding E, but not W. Is there? Uh, oh, there it is. Okay. Let's see. Okay, there's a thing over there to look at. So let's look at the glowy gimmick over here. Some sort of thing, if you've caught the last episode, you would recognize that. That's the sort of thing that Amanda was looking at. There's a thing over there. I'm not quite sure what that is. There's a reward over there. So let's surface and then go back down. See, now that I know where that... Whoop. What on? That was not letting me surface right there. Grab that reward. Nothing here. That's not quite where we came from. We gotta go up. Let the let the air uh, air meter go back up full. Okay, we're not going that way. Okay.
It sounds like it's on a timer. And we'll just kind of hustle across. And we'll hustle across. Because I hear it's ticking like we're on a timer. Yeah, we are. So we got a little cutscene happening here. And surface, and we'll see what happens. Get dramatic music and everything. Oh. Well. I guess that drains the place. Gee! Who knew dealing with flooding was that simple? Don't forget to fix your hair. Is that what I think it is? It's called an anachronism. It was Amanda's. High tops don't fall off your feet that easy. It's been unlaced. I never imagined she could have survived. There was a lot of water. She still might not have. Well, I do appreciate that she is still dripping wet after the cutscene. That said, there were a lot more than three rocks in the last episode. So. We'll hop through here. Now. I can't imagine we're going to get too much use of the, uh... Okay, yeah, my middle mouse button is screwed. It's done that to me before, but the middle mouse button... Like, the middle mouse button on my mouse is gone. I was kind of thinking that. <sighs> well... At least Black Friday's coming up. So I can see if I can get a good deal on a replacement. It tells the story of the last queen of Tiwanaku. Her father was king, but she was lost and raised by a warrior. She became queen after a shaman named Tunupa discovered her royal heritage. Tunupa is another name for Viracocha, their god of creation. The shaman brought her to Lake Titicaca where she borrowed his staff, an object of great power. According to myth, Viracocha originally lived in the lake. The god of indoor plumbing. She led her people into an era of peace. After many years of wise and just rule, there was some sort of power struggle. She died shortly thereafter, and she was carried off in a boat to paradise. Remind you of something? The King Arthur myth, yes. The similarities are striking. King Arthur? A little help here? It's the same story. A youth, unaware of his royal blood, rises from obscurity to become a wise king with the help of a friendly wizard and his magical staff or sword. And afterwards, he's transported to paradise. Many cultures share similar legends. The Great Flood, for example. Everyone's got that one, too. I'm slightly disappointed they didn't animate her talking while she's actually talking. Yeah, I kind of saw that coming. So, oh, can we not slide? There we go. Then we got a thing. There we go. Oh, uh. Oh, here. Oh, not there. <laughs> Let's actually drop a level. Can I pull the camera? Okay, okay. I, if I move the camera around, I can't see it. All right. No, that's that's fine. I was just kind of curious. There we go. Enough momentum that we can do that. That's not a big deal. That doesn't seem good. I didn't get the shake suddenly. That was the game. There's a vine there, but we get a cutscene first. Left, dear. Oh, no, up. Quick time events. Oh, that was wrong. Well, it doesn't make sense why it would be right when you're trying to go up. Whatever, let's do that again. Can we... Nah, we can't skip it. 
I just like to fast forward. It's up, up, right. So, okay, whatever. Like, that should be left rather than up because you're going to the left, right? Even our first animation is left. That, that I don't have an issue with. But why is that right when she clearly wants to pull herself up? Like, quick time events, they suck on general principles. Phew. Nice footwork. Why, thank you. Wow. This place is amazing. Might be a good place to use the rat mode of your binoculars. You could be right. Oh, I like that one. It was nice, but it was in the way. Uh, well, that one. Rad mode. I think I just did the one rad mode thing. Perhaps moving this would get me somewhere. There's another one of those. That's a mechanism. Yes, it is. That's something I could move. No. No, that's not it. That's it. So there's three balls. One of which being up there. And and three um got um scoring pylons. Uh for lack of a better descriptor. This reminds me of Atlas Spheres from uh from American Gladiators. Queen's Shaman. A dais with a sword set into it, or in this case, Viticocha's staff. This is it. Do you believe it's the same one we saw in Tuanaku? There's more than just one dais, but possibly. So the Shaman would be Merlin, and the staff would be whatever the hell King Arthur's sword was called. It's called Coincidence. <laughs> Funny name for a sword. I was gonna make that joke too. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Point to the writer on that one. Um, she says shaman, interestingly. I've never heard it pronounced shaman. But yes, atmospheres. So that was the one where they were in the big steel balls that they rolled around in. And they had to roll it onto the scoring, uh, the scoring triggers in order to score points. But they were also being chased by two gladiators at the same time in their own giant spheres. Wow! That must have impressed the villagers back then. I know it impresses me. Yeah, it's not gonna give me that one. Now, here's the question. I assume we can take this ladder here. And then we gotta get up, but the question is... Hmm. Hmm. There we go. Let me down. Because we gotta get the other one, because the other one will light up that. Now the question is, how does one get up? Hmm. Trying to find... So we gotta get to there. Now I gotta work backwards. Hmm, but there's nothing. Well, there's nothing here to work with here. That wasn't what I'm looking for. Uh, 
and the little seam probably is just an oversight. No, that was an oversight in the graphics programming. So we need to get up and around, but it seems like. It was really just a way of getting that ball down to roll over there. This gets me nowhere. Okay. I don't think I can really jump on... No, maybe I can jump up on here. Maybe that's the secret. Planted against there. Well, maybe not. Okay, it's not going to roll up the stairs, I don't think. I think that's pretty... Hmm. Bring it around this way. Invisible wall right there. They can't get by. Oh, there's a ladder there. I wonder. Nope. That was a good glitch. Like, that looks like a ledge, but there's some... Let me look to the right, goddammit. Stupid camera. My god, this is impossible to control. Let's kind of nudge it a bit. Oh, that's not gonna roll over this way a bit. No, that's not it either. Well, what the hell? Oh, so, wait a minute. A thought occurs. A thought occurs. You see, that separates there. So what if the ball doesn't go there? What if the ball goes into the right and then the last one goes then therefore into the middle? Oh my god, I hate driving this thing. There you go. Feels like something they should have highlighted, but oh well. Don't get melted by the, uh, by the bright light. That's good. Advantageous. So that's where the light comes in. Goes through that, refracts through that. Cool. Uh, oh, and I 
got to do that again. Come on, man. Oh, I like that one. It was nice, but it was in the way. I have to sit through every little hole. Or, uh, oh, for the love of God, this driving these things is the worst. Box. The box physics in this, or the bo movable object physics in this game, just a. Oh, and now she's rolled herself. Been rolled under? Sure. Wow! That must have impressed the villagers back then. I know it impresses me. Alright, let's hop this way. And then upwards. And then upwards. Well, you know, this way. Push us off. Well, take this way down. Well, that works too. And we'll pull it into the into now. Ah. We will endeavor to push it into that hole. No, go. Jesus. I think we can. Yay! No! <sighs> that count? Yay! It counts. So I was taking a drink of water, tearing my throat apart, cursing at this stupid ball physics. There we go. Now the top part we had identified earlier is likely to separate, and there it goes. The Queen's Shaman, a dais with a sword set into it, or in this case, Viticocha's staff. This is it. Do you believe it's the same one we saw in Tuanaku? There's more than just one dais, but possibly. So the Shaman would be Merlin, and the staff would be whatever the hell King Arthur's sword was called. It's called Coincidence. <laughs> Funny name for a sword. I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? I'm busy. Not paying attention to this. Alright, onwards and forwards. Thought I was about to be cut off by dialogue again. Look at her. She's beautiful. We were so close before. So close. Wonderful, Lara. Do you notice anything familiar about her sword? That's what Rutland was holding. Except this is just a ceremonial copy. And what do we have here? The tip has broken off. My god. I had no idea it looked like this. I've seen this before, at Waseda University in Japan. But I didn't know it had anything to do with these artifacts. Yeah, I'll get a hold of them right now. It's not there anymore. It was stolen by Shogo Takamoto. Takamoto? Yakuza has nothing to mess with Lara. I don't care, Zip. I want that piece. Arrange a meeting. Okay, but... Hang on. I got Anaya calling on her cell. I'm patching her through. Lara! Lara, can you hear me? She's in trouble. Those bastards from town are here, and they're coming down after you. Well, this is a tomb. I'll make them feel at home. Sorry, I wasn't keeping track of Anaya. I got distracted, but she seems safe for now. It's all right. Just let me know if our mercenary and friends get any closer to her. Got it. How will you make it back with the floor missing? I suppose I'll have to take the high road back. And we'll 
just kind of slide through this way. Whoa, why do you think, why is left suddenly in the middle of the goddamn floor? I'm just holding left and it just like all of a sudden changes directions on me. It's like, I know I said like the animations look similar to Prince of Persia, but man, the control sure is hell ain't half as good as Prince of Persia. And that came out like, what, three years before this? Maybe four? Nah, three cents about right. Man, I just, okay, Crystal Dynamax is in California, I was gonna say. I was gonna say, man, it's just like, give me a break. Ubi Montreal's just up the road from you, but it's only because you, you think about like half of the gaming industry is in Montreal. Don't gonna give me save, bastards. Get that momentum going backwards. I don't see anything. You? Think she fell down there? Maybe we got lucky. I haven't had any luck today. How's the knee? How's my ass? I wasn't the one who tripped. And I wasn't. All right. How's your ass dead? Ha ha ha. Mine's an evil laugh, of course. Do we bother for... Yeah, for just Vic. We're just reloading, so... Yeah, I'll just slide down. Turn on some lights. Lights, camera, dead. Oh, no one's here. I'm getting nothing from either of them. Maybe the radio. I was gonna say lights, camera, dead, but no. Doesn't work if if he doesn't die. So well, it, it is a shame. Oh, there's their rope that they came in on. We'll hold E, so that way we can... Kind of get to there, and then we'll... Go swinging. Because their rope is... Sort of embedded magically into the... Ceiling there. Feather the tiny gap there, and... We'll work our way upwards. Whoa! The camera... Camera's freaked out a bit. Why does the camera keep doing that? Okay, there we go. Man. There, you, you go through a game and you start finding issues with it and you're like, eh, it's really... You've had 15 years. You can't fix a camera in 15 years. I mean, the physics was bad enough last time out. I mean, there maybe there's a melee button in there, but who gives a damn? Oh, I don't even need to push the E. It's just going to do its... Then you got the hustle button. I've seen a panther, I think. It's hard to tell. Jaguar, I you don't have, have panthers. Yet. We'll take that guy out from range. Well. Oh. I tried reloading. It wasn't letting me. Uh, those boxes have gained an inexplicable amount of height. Take the guy on the right. We'll take the middle. And we'll take the left. And we'll reload. Oh. You got enemies just spawning in. He's over there. Fire in the hole. 
Zip, have you still got an eye on the other line? Yeah. Tell her to get under the jeep. Someone's coming. Reload's not working either. Okay, what's the manual aim button? Now my middle mouse button doesn't work. I mean, I could always... Uh... <laughs> no, I don't... Maybe I don't have it. Manual aim. Middle mouse, yeah, yeah, yeah. Z, okay. Oh, that's... I see that... I aim down a little bit. It won't let me hit him. I hope you found what you were looking for because I am never coming here again. I was right. This is all she left behind. She got out and didn't tell us? Why has she been hiding all these years? Maybe not hiding, exactly. Just not keeping in touch with old friends. Perhaps she found or learned something down there that she wanted to keep to herself. Zip, did you speak to Takamoto? Eventually. He didn't want to see you, so I reminded him how much you hate the word no. I'm a horrible conversationalist. I trust he wants to get together on neutral ground. You'll love this. He wants to meet at Toto Nishimura's offices across the street from his penthouse. Nishimura? Takamoto doesn't know we're friends. Nope. All he knows is Nishimura's hosting a corporate party tomorrow night, and you'll meet him there. Better and better. All right, then. I'm heading there straight away. I'll need to find something to wear, though. Oh, I think you'll be able to pull that off, Lara. So, we've unlocked some secret items. Cinematics, bios, slash concepts, and object models. There you go. It's your completion time across two episodes, of course. We uh, kind of got half rewards except for the gold, but it is what it is. And that'll do it for our return to Paraiso. Next time out, next time out to Japan and the Yakuza. But until we see you for that, I'm on silent. Thanks very much for joining me. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new. Share on social media. Follow on social media. The social media handle is on silent on internet. for Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Tumblr. And don't forget to check out more of the Tomb Raiders in the playlists there on the screen. In the description down below and more videos anytime on the channel page. And until the next time, I'm on silent. Thanks very much for joining me. Like, share, subscribe. And we will see you next time.